Hello, DPS Computing here, and today we are going to go over some reasons why resolution of the videos that you're importing in Tipfilm Express might be causing this horrendous banner to be coming across it, because I know it is hugely frustrating when it's there, so we're going to go through the top reasons with resolution and examples on how you can fix this and get this watermark removed without upgrading Hitfilm Express. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos on Hitfilm Express, and so that we can reach more people and help them with Hitfilm too. So we're back into Hitfilm Express. Express here and as you can see we're not on an upgraded version we have simply just used the free account that we signed up for in the last video where we showed you how to remove the watermark and register so if you haven't watched that that's up in the top right corner now don't forget to watch that video if you are struggling with the watermark but for this one we're going to focus on resolution and why that sometimes causes the watermark to happen so we're going to create a new project with the new project settings set to the template that is 1080p full HD at 25 FPS. The reason why we are picking this is not only is this uh, the full HD format for YouTube, but it is also one that HitFilm allows us to use for free. So if I click OK on that, we have got a brand new project opening up here. So down here in the media pane, which is next to the library, I'm going to right click and go to import media and import my source media. So I've got some source media here that is in HD, in SD, in UHD. And you can see the videos are exactly the same. To remove any complications from this, to prove it is just down to the resolution, I'm not going to add any sound, I'm not going to add any effects, I'm not going to do anything else which might make HitFilm apply a watermark. As you can see, when I press play here, this is the HD version. It's just a video with no sound that's traveling over water. If I go to the SD one, you can obviously notice the reduction in quality, but it is the same video. And the finally, the UHD version, the highest quality version that is there. So the first thing I'm going to do is, we've seen how we've set up the project now. I'm going to drag River SD onto the timeline. So this was allowing us to preview, and the box is going to come up saying the edit sequence settings differ from the clip you're adding. Do you want to change the edit sequence settings to match the clip? We will click yes, that will mean the project settings will adapt to the clip that we've put in the SD clip. If I go on to viewer now and we press play, we can see it's just the same video. We're not going to edit it so we can prove it is just the resolution that is sometimes causing the problems with the watermark. So without further ado, I'm going to export this to a file and we're going to export this. I'm going to call this river SD export and then press the save button. Now, a warning does come up, and this can be confused sometimes. Exports may be watermarked if they use any effects or features that are not included in your current plan. Do you want to continue? And it prompts for an upgrade. Some people are confused into thinking this means that we've already done something that needs a watermark. That is not the case, okay? So ignore the upgrade button. I know for this we have not used anything which will cause a watermark. So I'm just going to press continue and the export will now start. Because it's an SD version, it's going to export pretty fast. You can see the preview down here in the corner. All's looking well. And if I open the River SD export file and press play now, you can see quite clearly there is no watermark on there. The older version did used to put a bing in the background. They've dropped that now. But there is no watermark on there. Absolutely perfect. The video is how we want it. So now back in HitFilm Express, if I delete the SD clip and I now go over to River HD and I drag that one in. Again, it's going to ask me if I want to edit the editor sequence settings, basically the timeline settings down there for the video I'm creating because this is now a HD video. So we can click yes on that as well. And again, in the preview, we're seeing the same video. It's just of a higher quality, a higher resolution. This one is 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is the full HD size that is used on YouTube. And again, if we go to export and then I click on the export button to file and this time we'll call it River HD and we will add export on the end. So we know it's the export and press save. This one will take a little longer because it is export in a HD video rather than SD video. We can see the preview down here again. All is looking well. Looks like it will take approximately 20, 25 seconds on a lot of computers to export this. And again, what we will expect is we will expect because on the free version of Hitler film you are allowed to use up to full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels we will expect this to be watermark free 
we don't need to upgrade our plan for this. So here we are with the River HD export that we've just done. If I press play on it, we can see there is no watermark at all. It is purely just the video that we've exported and it's exported perfectly. The one thing we do notice with this one compared to the SD video is that it is of higher quality as we would expect from a standard definition to a high definition video. But as you can see, there is absolutely no watermark here in HitFilm Express. Finally, back in HitFilm, if I go on to and delete River HD using the delete key, and then we go put River UHD, which is ultra high definition, into the timeline, again, it will ask us if we want to change the edit sequence settings, the timeline settings to those of the clip we're adding, we will click yes. Now, don't forget, HitFilm allows you to use up to high definition for free on its free plans. You can see we're on a free plan because there's still the upgrade button here. But one thing which might confuse you here is there isn't the big banner across, but it is noting here, down here, that it is going to add the watermarks. When we preview it, it's going to say upgrade to unlock features of HitFilm. Now you might think that's okay, little watermark in the corner, but if we export now to file, and this time we'll call it River UHD Exports, and press save. This one will take even longer to export, obviously, because it's exporting at a higher definition. Even if you use the YouTube preset for 1080p HD, it doesn't matter with this one. If you do look down the preview, you can get a clip of it as it's rendering it, as it's saving it to the file. We can already tell that there is going to be a massive hit film watermark over this. Now, it doesn't matter what you are exporting in, because you can see from these three ones, we've exported to 1080p HD, 1080p HD, 1080p HD for YouTube. And even though we are doing that, it's still going to add on the watermark to this one because we are using an ultra high definition clip, which is 3840 by 2160 pixels. So it depends on the source media, not what you're exporting to. If your source is greater than full HD resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels, 1920 by 1080 pixels, you will get a watermark on your video. So now the export is finished and I've gone into the downloads to open up the River UHD export that we've just done. Now you can already see the massive hit film banner there and if I play it that hit film watermark is going to stay for the duration of the video. So remember that has been caused because we've used an ultra high definition video. So hopefully that example helps. Through the video we've created an SD example, a HD example and a UHD example. So remember it's the source media, the clips you are importing into HitFilm and their resolution that matters the most. It is not the preset that you are using to export it to. Okay, whatever that is set to, it's the source media. So if you use standard definition, 640 by 360 pixels, you'll be fine on the free version of HitFilm. It will export without a watermark. If you use full HD, so 1920 by 1080 pixels as your source, again, you'll be fine, there'll be no watermark. If you use UHD, however, 3840 by 2160 pixels, or basically anything above 1920 by 1080 pixels, you will get the watermark on your screen. So hope that helps. Don't forget to like the video so that this can spread out to more people, and don't forget to subscribe for more Hit Film Express videos. We'll see you later.